Everybody, welcome back. If you're into FPV, you probably know what this is. This is my first diversity. Uh, I've got a couple buddies running diversity. The difference between non-diversity is pretty amazing. So here is the new Furious True D V3 with the firmware 3.2. Um, some of the new updates on the V3 is the three button layout. Single press button, you can use a Fat Shark goggles, which is exactly what I'll be putting in mine in. It'll be going in there. Um, unfortunately, replacing my cool wrap, but there'll still be plenty of that on there. Um, we also have incre increased RSSI and better antenna switching, built in low power buzzer, separate modules to decrease thermal loading. There's a micro USB plug so you can update it easily. Um, brand new firmware, greater levels of this and that. So smooth switching technology, which is something I wasn't too interested in this for in the past, but the V3 has the smooth switching, which is kind of a big deal. It does race band, manual modes, yada, yada, yada. Works with the Dominator V2s, which I have here. It also works with V1s and V3s. Big LCD screen. Um, let's have a look. I haven't even opened the box yet to look at it. So there it is. I got this online from Hobby Town, believe it or not. You can see it comes with a 90 and a 45. Pretty cool. Here's the unit. Supposedly it's supposed to come with some space or two. I don't know. Must be that piece in between there. But there it is. You got your buttons, your connectors. Not much to it, but pretty cool. Let's uh, take my goggles apart here and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we'll take the antenna off, which is one of the new Pagodas from Menace. Got that at um, Puro Flip. Pop your cover off. And there's what I used to have. I've noticed my qual video quality has kind of gone downhill lately, so I'm wondering if that module's been taking a dump on me. So same deal, just plugs right in. Kind of hard to see in there. There it goes. Snap. Done. Now we got some diversity. Get some antennas. Plug those in there. Usually people put this one on the top. And then you'll put a patch or something of that nature on the bottom. Get her snug here. There we go. Plug it in, you guys can see. Show some stuff. I haven't figured out what it all does yet, so we'll figure that out in the future and go from there. So we'll be back. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay guys, here is my little FPV pod for my awesome Tundra 5.8. We'll plug that in. You'll see it power up. Now, we'll plug in the module. Hopefully it'll show for you guys. So the way I do this, smart search, if I know I'm the only one, it'll go through and find it. See, there it is. Picked her up. Bang. Got video. Let me check. Yep, got perfect video. But another way to do it, manual mode. Then you can just start pushing through the buttons and scrolling. Takes a while that way. Here's another kind of cool thing, is the band scanner. Finds the best open channel, I guess. Kind of neat. What are we on? See something. C7? The 
C4. Found it. Anyway, a couple cool little features. So far it doesn't seem to suck too much battery, which is nice. So I'm pretty happy about that. So, boom.